let's talk about height scale. Hey guys, Javier here with another Substance Quick Tips. So I'm sure a lot of people have run into this issue. You finish your material, you have your nice height map, we've set the height scale, we've set the tessellation factor, everything is looking good in the 3D viewport. Now, the only issue is that next time you were to open up this same file, so I'm just gonna reload it, Substance does not save those settings, and we're gonna have to essentially redo and input those values into our shader. It can be kind of annoying in case you're opening this file pretty frequently or doing any sort of changes. So let's see if there's any way we can do this by saving it into the file and not having to do that every time. I'm gonna go back into my graph here, and I'm going to bring in a new New output node here. Within the output node, let's go ahead and add an item. And in the drop down, I'm going to look for the value that's called height scale. Now that we have this guy in here, we're essentially going to need a value to tell us how much to, you know, push that extrusion out in the height map. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in a value processor. It's currently set to zero, so I want to input my own value. I'm going to go into the edit function. And within here, let's bring in a float so we could get a full value here. All right, it's currently set to zero. I'm gonna set it to something similar to what we had previously, which was 10. And I'm gonna go back into my substance graph. Now, the only issue here is that we haven't essentially told that new value, hey, I'll put this into the main graph. So we're gonna go back into the function. So double click on it, uh, edit function, and we're going to right click and set output as node. All right, now we can go back into our substance graph and you can see now the value that we've set previously is in here. We're going to go ahead and plug this guy into the height scale. Now, the only issue is we're still not seeing, you know, the value that we've pretty much set. All we have to do is reset the viewport and we're good to go. So let's do view outputs in 3D. And there we go. Now, if I were to go ahead and save all, so I'm saving the graph here and I'm just going to reload the package here. So height scale once again. And there we go. Basically, it saves these information. And now we don't have to input that every time we open up our package. Hopefully you guys like this tip and I'll see you guys in the next one. Follow and like for more. Peace.